Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Holy Eucharist for an end to this pandemic. We celebrate this votive Mass as instructed by Pope Francis so that we could unite in prayers for healing and strength in this time. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and healing. Lord Jesus, You healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, our refuge in every danger to whom we turn in our distress, in faith we pray Look with compassion on the afflicted. Grant eternal rest to the dead, comfort to mourners, healing to the sick, peace to the dying, 
strength to healthcare workers, wisdom to our leaders, and the courage to reach out to all in love, so that together we may give glory to your holy name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Geared yourselves and weep, O priests. Wail, O ministers of the altar. Come, spend the night in sackcloth, O ministers of my God. The house of your God is deprived of offering and libation. Proclaim a fast, call an assembly. Gather the elders, all who dwell in the land, into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to the Lord. Alas the day, for near is the day of the Lord, and it comes as ruin from the Almighty. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who dwell in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. Yes, it is near, a day of darkness and of gloom, a day of clouds and somberness, like dawn spreading over the mountains, a people numerous and mighty. Their like has not been from of old, nor will it be after them, even to the years of distant generations. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will judge the world with justice. The Lord will judge the world with justice. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. I will declare all your wondrous deeds. I will be glad and exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, Most High. The Lord will judge the world with justice. You rebuked the nations and destroyed the wicked. Their name you blotted out forever and ever. The nations are sunk in the pit they have made. In the snare they set, their foot is caught. The Lord will judge the world with justice. But the Lord sits enthroned forever. He has set up his throne for judgment. He judges the world with justice. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord will judge the world with justice. Please stand. Joy to my heart, your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had driven out a demon, some of the crowd said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others to test him asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts and said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste, and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebul that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, 
they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through arid regions searching for rest. But finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. The first reading today sounds a little bit uh, fearful, alarming because it is about the day of the Lord, ang pagdating ng araw ng Panginoon. And the prophet Joel tells us, when that day comes, blow the trumpet, sound the alarm. Naaalala ko tuloy kapag may dumarating na uh, parang calamity. May nare-receive kayong text message, tama ba ako? At paulit-ulit yan, nanginginig yung cellphone mo minsan, kakaulit. May parating na bagyo, may dumating na lindol, no? Sound the alarm. And many times you will feel afraid when you hear an alarm. That is the day of the Lord. An alarm will be sounded. But my dear brothers and sisters, why is it fearful, the day of the Lord? Because, my dear brothers and sisters, as the prophet Joel tells us in the first reading, the day of the Lord is a day of correction. God comes to correct us. Dumarating ang Panginoon para itama ang mali. At madalas, ayaw nating itama ang mali. Natatakot tayong ipakita ng Diyos sa atin ang mali sa atin. Kaya minsan, ang tingin natin sa araw ng Panginoon, parang ayaw nating dumating. Natatakot tayo dahil natatakot tayong itama ng Diyos. But this is the day of the Lord, a day of correction. And why does God want to correct us? We will see in our gospel passage today, Jesus driving out demons from people, people who are possessed by evil spirits. Why does God, why does Jesus want to correct us to remove the evil spirits in people? Because as Jesus said in our gospel reading today, when I remove a demon in you and then you allow him to return, he is bringing seven more demons back to you. What does this image tell us? Jesus tells us that if you do not want that evil to be removed from you, then 
you will deteriorate. Kapag hindi mo hinayaang itama ng Diyos ang mali sa iyo, ay lulubha ang kalagayan mo. Lalala ang kalagayan mo. That is why correction may be painful, correction may be alarming and fearful, but many times we need the finger of God to correct us so that the devil will be removed and our lives will not deteriorate. Lagi ko pong sinasabi ito sa mga uh, minsan may nade-detect sa katawan natin medically. Halimbawa, may nakita na bukol, may nakita na sakit. Marami sa atin natatakot sa operasyon, natatakot sa doktor. Yung iba sa atin ayaw magpa-check up kasi ang dahilan eh may makikitang sakit. <laughs> Kaya ayaw ko magpa-check up, no? Kaya takot ayaw magpa-check up baka may makitang sakit. Ayun eh, nga, kailangang makita ang mali. Kailangang tanggalin ang mali nang sa gayon maitama at hindi na lumubha ang kalagayan mo. That is why the day of the Lord always comes to us as a day of correction. Because Jesus wants to remove something wrong from your life. Jesus wants to remove and to set you free from this wrong so that you will not deteriorate. So my dear brothers and sisters, today, let us trust God's hand. Let us trust God's finger, the power of God's hand. He will remove something wrong in us. He will correct something wrong in our life. Yes, it may be fearful, it may be alarming, it may be painful to correct us, but it is for our good so that we will not deteriorate. Our lives will be better. In this celebration of the Mass, let us offer to the Lord anything wrong that needs correction in our lives today. Whether it is in your physical body, you have a sickness, you have a tumor, you have a disease in your health, offer them to the Lord. Allow God's hand to correct it. Allow God's hand to touch us so that our lives will not deteriorate. Trust in God's correcting hand. Amen. Please stand. Gathered together in Christ who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our prayerful intentions. For every petition, let us say, let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father that the Church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world, let us pray to the Lord. Let, let us be victorious in Christ, Christ, O Father, that Christian believers may have the courage to speak out boldly in the name of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. That we may give wholehearted support in upholding the truth and in opposing the subtle influences of evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. That the sick and the handicapped may receive the comfort of God's love from those engaged in caring for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us be victorious in Christ, O Father. 
that those who have died may be received into the fullness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Let, Let us, us be victorious, victorious in Christ, Christ, O Father. Almighty Father, as we offer our prayers, we thank you for your Son, who conquered sin and death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, the gifts we offer in this time of peril. May they become for us by your power a source of healing and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal.